Of course I'm watching Wimbledon. They're letting Hewitt out. I know, tragedy. But those men, oh, the only thing I would like is for their shorts to be a little shorter. I'd like them to be more tight, more white and more short. Because for the view, for the view for the women, I think that's only fair. When it goes to five sets, you've got to have something to look at. You do, you do, because the, the strain is just too much. But what I love about the English, I mean, you've never had a, a real hero, not since Fred Perry, because you're very good at uh, kind of verbal Wimbledon. Every time I go to a dinner party, people lob banter back and forth. You know, if you measured how fast the, the quips fly, it's like that thing at Wimbledon that measures how fast the balls go. And you're very good at backhanded compliments. You're the Navratilovas of the backhanded compliment. But I didn't ever think you'd actually have a, a, a sporting hero on the tennis court, so it's fantastic that you finally got married. He's boxed up a lot in the last couple of years. Is he a bit hotter now? Is that, do you think that might be fueling his success because he's a bit more attractive? Yeah, he's, he's had a tiny bit of a makeover, but I think it's more that he's less intimidated. I mean, he looks quite, he's got that whole Celtic sort of macho, you know, give me a give me a spear so I can impale a wild beast look about him now. Which is I think it's just confidence more than him being buffed in any particular way. But yeah, he's a champion for sure. Andy, believe it or not, you have transmogrified into a love god. And it really is time that Britain could be better at something besides whipping, quipping and queuing. We need a sports love god and you are him. Go for it boy. And I'm sure to show us.